Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's Tuesday, March 17th, and I am here with Sparky. Sparky, those are our students right there. See, 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 right here. You're not looking. You're not looking. You're not paying attention. You don't follow directions either. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. It's Tuesday in the morning. I'm coming to you from my house, and I will be uploading content for you. Um, even though we don't officially start, I think, till Monday, you can still um, follow through Google Classroom. I'll have some videos uploaded uh, just to say hi so you can see how goofy your teacher is at home. I'm going to move Vincent Van Gogh here, and I'm going to see if there's... Whoa! And there goes the lava lamp. It didn't break. So yeah, this is new to all of us. Um, yeah, that's what happens when you knock the lava lamp over. This is new to all of us. Life's not predictable. Um, Sparky's curled up in my lap here as I find us a poem from one of my favorite books, Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. And this is one of my favorites. And I'll even show you the picture. A tree house, a free house. A secret you and me house. A high up in the leafy branches. Cozy as can be house. A street house. A neat house. Be sure and wipe your feet house. Is not my kind of house at all. Let's call that the tree house. That's one of my favorites. I'm going to, um, every once in a while, I'll read a poem. And I'm even going to set up a video series of reading some longer books, like, for instance, Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. This I have to be very careful with. This was mine in first grade. It even has my name on the side. When I was little, I was like seven when I got this book. It's called A Wrinkle in Time. It's very good. I read it in first grade and fifth grade and then a couple times since. Hunger Games. Harry Potter. Charlotte's Web, and The Hobbit. I don't know that we'll get to all of these. Um, probably not. I might just continue reading these books in the evening and recording them by chapter so you can listen to a whole chapter, stop and go to the next video and see the next chapter. And of course, I'm going to have art assignments. Um, if you don't have much internet and you get one of those take-home packets, go ahead and do it. Um, and, you know, just try to take it easy. This is a stressful time for all of us, but, you know, we got puppies and we got books and we've got some time. So, <laughs> um, just bear with us. I'll bear with you. And as far as we figure how this is going to work, but also, um, in addition to your assignments, I'm going to show you some art techniques and things that usually you wouldn't see in a middle school classroom, stuff that deals with hot glass and flip, uh, blow torches, things like that, that, um, I'll probably have to set up the camera outside, not so much in my little makeshift studio here in my front room. So I look forward to seeing all of you soon. I hope. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't drive your parents too crazy. Just let them know what you're doing. Oh, and help them out before they add us. Yeah. All right. Later.